Welcome back to part two of my video series, looking into magnetic skirmions and their uses. In the last video, we spoke about what a magnetic skirmion is, and now we're going to look at how they might be used in the next generation of super fast and efficient computers. Computers use binary to store data and communicate. In modern computers, this data is stored on a hard disk drive, which contains small magnetized regions. The direction each of these regions is magnetized represents a one or a zero. However, these hard disk drives, as you may know, are prone to mechanical failures, leading to data loss. There is also limited space on the disk and a limit to how small these magnetic regions can be, meaning hard drives have limited storage capacities and high storage ones can be very expensive. They can also become very hot when in use. This is where skirmions come in. Due to their small size and stability, they are ideal candidates for data storage. Now I can sense the question in all your lips. How will we use skirmions to represent binary ones and zeros? Well, do not fear, because I have the answer. We can represent binary ones and zeros using a property of a skirmion called the winding number. Now in my hand, I hold a squash ball, half wrapped in Play-Doh. The winding number of this supposed magnetic region would be zero because the Play-Doh does not fully wrap around the squash ball, and I can easily return the magnetization structure, i.e. the Play-Doh, to a uniform state by simply removing the squash ball. And now my magnetization structure is back to a uniform state. Now this squash ball would represent a skirmion with a winding number of one, because the Play-Doh is fully wrapped around the squash ball representing how the magnetization of a skirmion is fully wrapped and points in all directions. Now similar to as with the Mobius strip in the previous video, it would take a large event like me ripping the Play-Doh in order to return the magnetization to a uniform state, i.e. flattening out the Play-Doh like I did with the previous squash ball. This once again shows why skirmions are so stable. Now this is how we would use skirmions to represent binary ones and zeros, with one skirmion representing one bit of data. That would mean a 100 gigabyte storage system would need 100 billion skirmions. This concludes the second video. Please tune into my last one to find out why skirmions might be so useful.